I'm not an expert by any means, but let's have a go at planning a route. Uh, I'm going on a road trip to Banbury, so let's plan using a better route planner and uh, see how good it is. And we can also track when we do the trip how accurate it was. So the first step, input the uh, destination I'm going to, which is a place called Roxton near Banbury, and also the starting point. So I've put a suitable location near to where we're starting. And it tells me the trip will take 3 hours and 27 minutes, with one charging stop for 8 minutes. 149 miles distance. But my first mistake, I haven't actually looked at the settings. They're probably set to either defaults or whatever I used last time. So let's go back to the settings, see what's available, and set them as accurately as possible for the trip, and then see what it actually tells me for the route, whether it's 8 minutes of charging and still 149 miles. Car is set correctly to a Mini Cooper SE, starting with 100% and 4.1 miles per kilowatt hour as the gauge for efficiency for doing 65 miles an hour. Um, I think that's probably a little bit on the conservative side, 4.1, but just in case, um, I've set it a little bit low to give myself a little bit of contingency. Do you know, I'm really not sure what the efficiency is for the Mini at uh, 65 miles an hour. I ought to know, don't I? So let's adjust that slider so that it shows that I prefer charging stops that are shorter in time. So I'd prefer more charging stops, each stopping for shorter periods of time, shorter legs, rather than one big charging stop. The chargers themselves, I've got that set to just CCS and Type 2 only. Yes, I'd like to only go to chargers that are available, but that's a premium option, so I can't set that. Charger preferences, this is where I can set particular networks like Ecotricity and say that I don't ever want to visit one of those or BP Pulse. So those are the ones I'm going to avoid because they're less reliable. And the Ecotricity, well, they're the new GridServe ones, aren't they? They might be okay, but they're on motorways and I don't really want to go there. So I've got it set here to avoid them completely. My preferences are um, Alpha Power, Instavol, Osprey and a few others that are on the Juice network for Octopus Energy. But let's add in the Ionity network as well, that was missing. And I don't mind stopping at Ionity, even if it's really expensive, because I'm not adding many kilowatt hours. So if it's more convenient, it'll probably make more sense. So scrolling further down, uh, number of charging stores. I think I'll change that to two. I'd rather go to locations where there is a choice of charger, just in case one's already in use, or maybe it's broken. Minimum state of charge when I arrive at a charger, 5%, that might be a little bit low because that's only 5 miles with the Mini. So let's set that to 10% and give myself a little bit more contingency. The other settings look okay. I don't mind it having 5% at my final destination and 90% as a maximum state of charge when we're charging. I don't mind that either. The Mini charges really well into the high 80% uh, percent state of charge. So 90 is my absolute maximum. I don't need to optimize it so that I'm always charging at 40 something plus kilowatts because I'm only stopping for a couple of minutes. It really won't make that much difference. I've added a little bit of battery degradation, just as a little bit of contingency, and then charging time, the amount of time that I'm going to be spending at the charger, regardless, not the charging, but the uh, I think that means the delay that I'm going to take when I stop. So if I'm going to take five minutes anyway, then it's going to try and time it so that the charging coincides with how long I need to stop at the destination, regardless. I think that's how it works. Taking into account live traffic updates, that sounds like a good feature, but again, that's a paid option for the premium level, and I don't have that, so I can't set it. Reference speed, I'm going to put 85% there because I'm going to try and keep within the speed limits, not to the speed limits. So that should again uh, help me with efficiency. That's what I tend to do normally. I relax and take the easy route. And uh, I do tend to go a lot of the slower roads where you can't always uh, reach the maximum of the road anyway. And maximum speed, yeah, let's adjust that up a little bit. So let's put that up to 65. So on the last final items, I hope, so we've got wind speed, air temperature, and the additional weight that we might be carrying. So it's getting quite specific now. Hopefully that's for accuracy. Oh, and yes, we need to set it to pounds and miles, so British Imperial. Okay, let's scroll back up and recalculate and see how far we're going to go and how many charging stops we're going to have. 
So it thinks we're going to go five miles extra and we need an extra charging stop and we're going to stop for 29 minutes, not just eight. So let's have a look at why. And this is where I can see that it's uh, it's doing things that I don't want it to do. It's taking me a route to use chargers in places that I don't want to go. So I need to change some of the waypoints here and get the direction of travel changed. It's also added an Ionity charger and it's got us charging at the final destination, which is 12 minutes long. Obviously, it's a slow charger at the final destination, but I don't want that to be included. So let's add a waypoint of Stilton Peterborough because that is actually somewhere that I need to go. And let's see how that adjusts things. Well, it's estimating that it's going to take 34 minutes longer if I go via the A47 than the A11 via Cambridge. But that is the road that I prefer to travel on. So let's get that changed and see what happens. Well, I seem to be going in the wrong direction here. So that's 178 miles now. We've just added uh, more than 28 miles onto the journey. And also it's adding another charging stop, obviously because of the extra distance. So there's some more tweaking to be done. I think a waypoint on an Instavolt charger that I want to stop at, at Necton Swaffham. That'll keep me on the A47 to start with, but also give me a bit more charge for the journey. You've got to laugh, haven't you? Every adjustment I'm making is taking longer and I'm having to charge for longer as well. Let's keep going and see how well we can do. Let's add a little granny charge, a little AC charge at the destination in Stilton. That should be about 2.2 kilowatts and maybe a couple of hours. But that's now got us charging in the centre of Kings Lynn and I don't like charging there and it's charge your car. I've never used one of those so I'm going to have to go back into the networks and put that one as an avoid so we don't charge there. You can see that once you've set all these parameters and once you've got them set for exactly how you want it to do, it'll probably estimate quicker and more accurately in the future and you won't have to go backwards and forwards changing these. I'm doing this with you guys so you can see what it's like when you start. Hopefully at the end we'll have a better result. And in true Blue Peter fashion I've added some waypoints for all the charges that I might want to go and look at and uh, change the directions again and hopefully this will be a better result. Now we're getting somewhere. I've added more waypoints than I need, more charging locations than I really want to stop at, but we're at 172 miles now and five charging stops. So if I remove some of those extra waypoints that I don't want to charge at, those were just options for me. Hopefully we'll get to a more realistic level now. Much better. 166 miles. I do expect it to be a few more miles because I'm going a different route, but only three charging stops for 10 minutes. And the final check, if I'm heading to Banbury, I wonder if I've got the opportunity to take in the Banbury Instavolt chargers there. There's a hub with eight of them. But if I put those in, it shows that I'm going more miles, got to charge more. So it's just not practical for me to go there this time. Now clearly I could have done this a little bit slicker, I could have done all my research and I could have tried this a few times before I did the screen record and I could have looked wonderful setting it all up with a really optimum route and optimum charging but it's good to play around with it, that's what I like with this app, it gives you the opportunity to play with your journey, play with your charging, work out what you want to do and what your preferences are. I hope it's helped and uh, I hope you find it useful. Take care for now and see you again soon for another video. Bye for now.